here at Camp Gilead that I heard the gospel presented very clearly for the very first time. Camp Gilead's future is going to be much of the same thing that Camp Gilead has been about for 70 plus years. As you look at it today, you never dream what it used to be. We're gonna continue doing what we're doing with the main goal of sharing the gospel with as many people as possible. Camp Gilead was born in 1935 out of Mr. and Mrs. Walter Jensen's desire to reach children for Christ in the woods 20 miles north of Tampa Bay. As the camp began to flourish in its early years, it began to outgrow its facilities. And so in 1938, Camp Gilead purchased the Polk City Golf Course for $1 to secure their new campgrounds. When we arrived at Camp Gilead, the old golf course uh, had those big uh, mounds of sand in it. Uh, they were able to remove those. Uh, the cabins that they had at that time had shutters all around the outside. Uh, with screens in them. So we had no air condition at the time, uh, just uh, screens uh, with shutters. Much happened in the years 1947 through 1949 as the camp's first chapel was built with lumber donated by Walter Jensen. In 1948, Edith Holslander arrived at Camp Gilead and would become camp director for the next 50 years. In 1948, the camp began programming for schools who were on summer break. And so Camp Gilead began changing lives, one heart at a time. It was here at Camp Gilead that I heard the gospel presented very clearly for the very first time in the chapel messages. And I just saw the joy of Christ in my counselors, and I wanted what they had, and I became a Christian. Went back home to my unsafe family, and um, praise the Lord that every single one of those family members now, they know the Lord. A lot of my brothers and sisters came here to camp and also became Christians. And my mom and dad, when they saw the change in our lives, they also came to Christ. It, it's unique in the sense that it's a place of fun and enjoyment, but it, there's a lot of effort put in to reaching people's hearts. The volunteer program at Camp Gilead would be vital to the camp's growth. Fellow believers across the country began to come in 1969 as the camp expanded their facilities. They brought with them skills of carpenters, plumbers, electricians, block layers. And with these skills, Camp Gilead has been able to build buildings, uh, renovate buildings, uh, make Camp Gilead what it is today without going into debt for any of these structures. So we praise God for volunteers, not only past, but present, and looking forward to volunteers in the future to keep Camp Gilead what it is. Today, 75 years after its humble beginnings, Camp Gilead and its staff are still changing lives one heart at a time. Camp Gilead's ministry has only been made possible by God's blessing through the generosity of others. As you've seen, we're all about changing lives one heart at a time. The passion that led the Jensen's to found Camp Gilead more than 75 years ago compels us to share that same gospel today. So I wanna leave you with one thought. Why not? Why not pray for us? Why not consider giving to us financially? Why not find out how you can be a part of the next 75 years? As we look towards the future, Camp Gilead needs your prayer and support to keep changing lives one heart at a time.